Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's video we're gonna have a look on the Bitcoin price. We are going to go through all the different time frames to check out what is going on right now because currently Bitcoin is again testing the main support and today is Friday and today we're gonna have a lot of future closes so also on the CME chart we're gonna have a look here on the Bitcoin price because it is very important that we're gonna see where we're gonna close today on the CMEs and usually always we are seeing big volatility coming back so I'm expecting today or possibly this weekend a big move to the upside or to the downside potentially more to the downside since again we are testing here the potential support and currently it looks like that we could be in for a massive move to the downside also as long as we are not trading again above 9500 i think the sentiment is clearly shifted to the downside right now and we could be in here for a big leg to the downside so as long as we are not starting again to trade above 9500 and create a support above it I think we're definitely shifted to the downside and we could expect here a possible dump anytime soon. Even though we have for the long term very bullish signs, but in the short term we still could be in here for a massive leg down. So here in the one hour you can see that currently we're again testing here the main support down here at around $9,100. If we're gonna have a daily close below this line here, so below $9,100, this could initiate the potential big drop towards 8K. This, in my opinion, is what I expect in case of a daily close below 9,100 and also where I potentially gonna set in a short position over here on a Bybit in case that we really have a daily close below and also if today after the futures are gonna close are seeing volume kicking in and the price is dropping below $9,100. So currently here in the one hour we're trading below all the moving averages the 20 is currently at 9220 this is where we could see a potential bounce from this line and top out here at this region up here because we have right now the stochastic oversold and also the RSI is coming down here in oversold condition so I'm expecting here a potential bounce from it and the retest of the new resistance up here at around 9300 down to the 20 moving average in the one hour which is currently at 9220 if we have a look on the bollinger band also here you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the downside so retracement back to the middle line here at around 9200 dollar is very likely after overshooting it to the downside macd is now also shifted to the downside here in the one hour it looks like that the bears are trying to push the price lower but i just see a potential bounce here at least for the beginning to retest the resistance and then possibly later on today have the breakout here to the downside this is what i'm expecting if today we're gonna see a big move potentially more to the downside if we go over to the four hour also here you can see that we're trading below all the moving averages the 20 currently is also up here at nine thousand three hundred dollar rsi stochastic are more in oversold condition even though we have a little bit of room left to the upside and also to the downside here so we could see some further sell-offs from here but in case that we are going up again to retest the resistance watch out here for the 20 moving average in the four hour at nine thousand three hundred dollar and also the rsi so currently we are still trading below the 50 level in the RSI so in the four hour as long as we are staying in this region I'm definitely bearish and I'm expecting a possible leg to the downside also potentially to stop out or liquidate some over leveraged longs because currently we still have way more longs than shorts and here in the Bollinger Band in the four hour, you can see that also here we're trading in the lower part. So in theory, we could have a resistance here between 9,200 to 9,370. And the bottom here is at 8,950. So this is also where I'm expecting to trade today and possibly also have a close in case that we're gonna close below 9,000. $100 and then potentially initiate the big drop to the downside towards the 200 daily moving average. MACD is also shifted to the downside here so also here the momentum is clearly going down and now let's have a look on the daily time frame. 
because here in the bitstamp chart it is still looking very bearish we are trading here below the 20 and 50 daily moving average we are touching again here the main support in case that we're gonna have a daily close below i think we're definitely shifted here towards the 200 daily moving average at 8300 at the moment we have the stochastic down in oversold condition right now and also the rsi is now trading definitely below the 50 level and here we have a lot of room left to the downside so that that means we will go at least towards here the 200 daily moving average potentially even lower but this is the target that I have in case of a breakout here to the downside and once we're gonna reach here this price level here at the 200 daily moving average there is where we're gonna see if we're gonna have a big bounce from it or we are continuing to dump here and then go towards our next potential bearish targets of around six thousand five hundred dollar where all the 0.618 Fib line is lining up based on the move that we had here in the last couple of weeks since March. And since we are now here in the daily time frame, let's have a look also on the CMEs because here it looks a bit different. Here we are still in track here towards the $10,000 and potentially also break it to the upside because currently here we are holding the support here at around $9,100 and also we are trading between the 20 and 50 daily moving average. Now the question is what is more important, the Bitstamp chart or the CME futures? I still think that the CME futures are more important even though I still think it is more likely that we are going to break out here to the downside downside but here technically on the CME chart it still looks more bullish because we are bouncing from this important support and we could see a potential move up and also if we would start to close your candles above the 20 daily moving average so above 9400 that would also mean that we are trading again back towards 9500 and potentially also create new supports above 9500 dollar and this could be very bullish for the next couple of days and weeks because then we could be in here for another retest of the main resistance here at around 10,000 dollar so we have these futures expiring today and i'm expecting some volatility to come back here potentially more to the downside especially if the stock markets are also starting to dump a bit but currently even though we are testing now the support nothing much has happened so we're still waiting here for a decisive move and i suggest you in case that you're waiting to trade it over on bybit to wait potentially till next week when we're going to open the markets again on monday because right now it is really hard to predict where the price could be heading to because we are bouncing right at the support currently but the breakout to the downside is possible and of course if you see a breakout then check also the volume the volume is going to be very key because if we're still going to have this low volume that we still have right now then the breakout might be not so significant and you will be able to trade it on monday when the markets are opening again and also of course if we're going to have a new cme gap and now we can also have a look here in the daily time frame the bollinger band because currently also here you can see that we're bouncing from the bottom area so a bounce back here to the middle area between 9360 and 9470 is very likely to come and there maybe we're gonna see a final test if we are able to break it again or we are definitely shifted to the downside and we should expect a possible breakout to the downside from this $9,100 support MACD is also still shifted to the downside so here in the one hour four hour and daily time frame I still have no good news for you guys but in the bigger time frames like the weekly here we're still very bullish even though our retracement back down here towards 8200 and potentially lower is possible as I told you but for the big picture we are still very bullish and also we still are maintaining important price levels and supports so especially here in the weekly you can see that even though we could break down here towards $8,200 we would be still trading here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band and also if we go over to the moving averages here you can see that also the 20 and 50 are right here at $8,700 which I think is very likely to reach and even if we break down towards our bearish targets of $6,400 this is all the way the 200 moving average is lining up in the weekly so if these moving averages already saved us in march we just week below and then immediately we bounce back up and started to trade again above the 200 weekly moving average i think even though we could be in here for a big move to the downside this moving average will be the last resort to support us and i don't think that we will go way lower than that in case of a really big breakdown in the crypto space and also in the stock market 
All right, guys, so with that said, they're gonna wrap it up for now. Remember that if you want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps, you can trade it over on Bybit, for example. Here you can trade Bitcoin and other altcoins up to 100x leverage. And if you use the signup links that you can find below here in the video description, you can get some signup bonuses. Of course, to get all of them, you have to put some deposit and do some stuff. But finally, you can get all these rewards and bonuses and you can start to trade with that money completely riskless. Another exchange that I recommend you is Femex. Here you can also trade gold, for example. So if you need an account also on Femex, you find the link down below here. And also Bityard, I recommend you in case that you want to trade with Tether. Here you can trade many altcoins with Tether. So definitely go and check it out because here you can get a lot of bonuses up to $260 if you're trading with a high volume. And please join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free. Everyone is welcome. Shout out to all the people and already members of Discord. And I'm doing the live streams over on Twitch. So make sure also to join the Twitch channel if you have Twitch. Please leave a like if you like the content and put any comments you want. It helps the channel. Subscribe also to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one. Bye.